Hey everybody, welcome back to Perfectly Imperfect. And if this is your first time, welcome. I'm glad to see you. Today I'm going to show you a kitchen organization craft that I think you guys will really enjoy. I love bright colors and I am actually doing my kitchen in these colors, red, turquoise, and yellow. So, that being said, let me show you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing. I found this pedestal at Mighty Dollar. This is actually a pet dish stand. Um, not sure why, but it is by Kathy Ireland, and I just fell in love with it. I thought it was really, really pretty. So, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this pot pan from the Dollar Tree, and you guys have probably seen this, I have hair on me, have probably seen these videos before, but I'm just going to show you my take on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these together, just like this, and then I'm going to paint them yellow, bright yellow. Then I'm going to take these plain what are they called, Evo jars or uh, bottles that I found at the Dollar Tree. And one is going to be for hand soap and the other is going to be for dish soap. And I'm gonna have something special to do with these. But for now, I do need to paint these. So what I'm gonna do is, since I'm gonna paint them the same color, I'm going to just glue these together really quick. And then I'm gonna take them outside to paint I might do this really quickly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pair of pliers. I'm going to use E6000 glue to get this apart. And I'm just going to put some glue around the edge here. And then stick this on top. Center it. Just like that. And I'm going to let that dry for probably about an hour before I actually take it outside to spray paint. When I do that, the first thing I'm going to do, because this is different colors, is I'm going to spray it down with the primer first. And then, once that has dried, I'm going to do a couple of coats of the Rust-Oleum American Accents. And this is Gloss Sun Yellow. So stay tuned to see the finished product. Hey, I'm back. It has been about 48 hours. As you can see, my two pieces, my candle holder, or actually my pet food dish um, stand, and my pie pan, I have glued them together. I put something heavy on here, and I'll let this sit for about two, about two and a half hours. I then sprayed it down with the Rust-Oleum Primer. And I let that set overnight just because, honestly, I forgot about it. It dried probably in a couple of hours, though, so you probably won't have to wait that long. And then after that, I sprayed it down with the Rust-Oleum Gloss Sun Yellow. So that I also let set overnight because I had to do two coats of the yellow Depending on what color you paint this, it may only take one coat, um, but because this is yellow and it kind of come across a little bit more translucent than what I wanted, I did do two coats. So that's the reason why it did take a little bit longer um, for mine to get ready. So now that this is ready, I'm going to set this aside. Oh, and you can use E6000 glue to glue this, um, the two pieces together. So now that that's finished, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on our two um, oil bottles. So what you want to do is, of course, you want to get these stickers off. I probably should have thought about doing that actually before, but that's okay. They're peeling off fairly easily. Okay. So those are ready to go. And these you can decorate however you want. You can paint these if you want. 
I would suggest doing a primer before the regular paint just because it's a little bit easier. Um, or even going over with a coat of Mod Podge um, before you actually spray paint these just so that it adheres a little bit easier. For me, I love the clear bottles. I love being able to see through them. I have made others though that I have used for other things that you can take tissue paper, um, like the gift wrap tissue paper, and you can Mod Podge that over these and then spray it down with like a gloss overcoat. And it's gorgeous. They are absolutely beautiful in the window. And I may actually do a video on that here soon. But for now, I am going to leave these clear. At Mighty Dollar, I found these burlap stickers that I thought were just darling. And that's what I'm going to be using to put on my bottles to, I guess, say what they are. And I'm going to be putting hand soap in one. And I'm going to be putting Dawn dish detergent or some kind of dish detergent, whichever one I decide to get, on the in the other one. Now, my color theme, if you guys remember, is the turquoise, yellow, and red. And unfortunately, none of these burlap stickers are any of those colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the white ones right here. And I'm going to, before I actually place them on the bottle, I'm going to write what they are with just a red. This is a Bic Market Fine Point Permanent Marker. You can use a Sharpie, something like that. And I'm going to use a red one because of my colors. Oh, look how cute those turned out. You guys see those? Okay, so these just peel off. And then you can... Think. Okay, these just stick on... The string that's attached to them is not very long. So for time purposes, I'm just going to use the sticker on the back of these and just stick it onto the bottle. I will probably eventually um, go ahead and get a maybe some hemp twine or something like that and just untie these so that I can tie it around the um, neck of the bottle just because I don't think those stickers are going to stay stuck for very long. Okay, and that's what those look like. So this craft is really, really simple, you guys. It doesn't take a lot of time other than the painting. And that's once it's done, you just pretty much have to let it dry. Um, because I don't want to make a mess, this is the Bolero hand soap that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And it is Italian pear. Make sure that this is the hand soap. And I'm just going to... Oh, this is going to take forever if I do it like this. So we're going to try to do this without making a mess. So I'm just going to pull this out and set it over here. And it looks so weird. And you can use any kind of soap that you want. Um, you could probably even do, I wouldn't do dishwashing or dishwasher soap or anything like that. Just because it's so, so much thicker. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to cut that off right about there. And I wonder if this will fit. It won't. But it will sit on here and it will still pump. It just won't screw on. So we've got this, the hand soap finished. Now let's work on the dawn. So you just pop off that top. And you fill this bottle up. Okay. So now that's finished. And for this one, you can actually just pop that lid, the spout that came on it back on there and you have your two dispensers so now you can set up your dish beside your sink however you wish to do it I actually found this really cute jar to put my sponges my wet sponge or anything like that into I found this at Hobby Lobby I think I paid a dollar 25 for this one so we'll sit that in there somewhere and then of course my silicone sponge we'll sit that in there and then my handy dandy odor deodorizing steel soap we'll just drop that down in there and that's it, guys, for that craft. It's really easy. You could probably actually get everything done in an afternoon. And it helps tidy up your sink and make everything look a little bit neater. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Um, like I said, I will probably try to, for my next crafting video, I may show you guys how to do the tissue paper um, and make some decorative bottles and some of the different things that you can actually use those for. So, um, if not, then come out very, very soon. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.